Arizona State obviously blitzes a lot. Uh, how do you prepare, especially a guy like Justin, for, for that one? He hasn't really seen that a lot this season. Uh, you know, you just try to give him as many scenarios that you can, that, uh, that you've seen on tape. Um, one of the things, Justin's doing a lot of good things, but one of the things that's given him the opportunity to play for us is his composure and making plays under duress. And so, you know, he's shown us every indication that he'll, he can play against any type of defense. When you look at the film from last week, what slowed Royce down? What would you see? Was it, do you think he was healthy or was it something they were doing? I think it was a combination of things. I think it was something that they were doing. I thought they did a good job. Um, you know, add an extra guy to the box to try to take away the run. And, uh, you know, our, our run game was kind of hit and miss. We had some big ones and there were some that, that we didn't. And then, uh, you know, Royce is a lot healthier this week than he was last week. It seems like he's been taken down more in the backfield than we've seen in the past. We're getting hit at least in the backfield, not getting the line of scrimmage than we've seen in the past. Yeah, again, that's obviously you guys see the running back. Sometimes that might be a, a miscommunication up front or something good that, you know, California did. Statistically, Arizona State is the best run defense in the conference. Um, is that a no one's running because they're blitzing so much and everyone's passing on them, or, or are they actually a pretty stout run? They're pretty good against the run. You know, they're a good defensive football team. Um, they're a very aggressive team. And so, you know, and you got to match aggressiveness with aggressiveness. And it's a big challenge to our guys. Our guys our guys are excited about it, but yeah, they, their staffs kind of speak for themselves. Did, did you put in? Show he really didn't do much of the zone read, and obviously that's a position, a play that's pretty prominent here. How well has he done understanding when to hold it, when to give it? Great. You know, his decision-making process for a freshman is pretty special. You know, how to, because that's the whole thing to be a quarterback, really, in any offense, how fast you can process things and make quick decisions. And he's done that well. And he did a couple times against Cal for big runs for us. Do you draw plays early to get the ball out of his hand fast in this one just to uh, counter the blitz slash get his confidence going? Uh, well, we always wanted to get his confidence going. You know, we, we want to be balanced. So we want to be able to run the ball and throw it as well. And you know, he can do both those things. Uh, you know, I think anytime, whether it's we have success in the run game or the passing game, everyone gets confidence. So that's that's always a mindset: is how how can we get success early, and we start by doing that by calling the thing that you, the stuff that you think is going to work the best. They got after Luke Falk pretty good last week. I think seven sacks in that one. You, I think you saw that film. What were they doing well that allowed him to get the quarterback? Um, I think it's a combination of things. I think you know they're they're very good at pressuring the quarterback. Um, schematically, but I also think they've got good personnel up front. Uh, some of those sacks were just their defensive ends beating their offensive tackles. Um, so it's going to be a challenge to us. Now, another thing, Washington State throws it a lot, so when you throw it that much, you're going to be prone to more sacks. Um, but yeah, it's, like I said, it's a challenge for our guys, and our guys are excited about it. Do you put more of an emphasis on those explosion plays since they're that aggressive kind of team that comes after you, try and, I guess, make the aggressiveness pay a little bit? Well, yeah, it, that's the thing. When, when you play an aggressive defense like these guys, um, and it happened last year, there, there's going to be some – we never want to have a negative play, but there might be a no-game play. Okay, And the, the biggest thing is you just keep punching, and then eventually you're going to connect with one. And that, that's kind of our mindset. You know, if, hey, play, and it's, it happened against Cal where every once in a while we'd have a no-game play. That's, that's football. But they're on scholarship too. But the key is just keep playing and play the next play, and then good things usually happen. If you can have that mindset. Is this about where you wanted your offensive line to be at this point in the season? Coming into the season, was this kind of the expectation where they're at right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I think for four redshirt freshmen to uh, perform the way they, I've been very happy with the way they perform, and they've gotten better each week, and their mindset and work ethic uh, has been great. Do you expect Tony to have more of a role this weekend? Yeah, I mean, Tony's playing great on special teams, really every time he gets in the game, and so we're, we're figuring out more ways to get him the ball, as well as just keep him going on special teams, because he loves to be on the field. Is he getting more confidence? He gets more carries, and when he gets into, he's had now some 15 carry games. You see him get more used to taking maybe a beating and, and going back out there? I think so. You know, that was one of the things, last year we had a hard time keeping him healthy, mm -hmm. just kind of some freakish things, and this year, he did a great job in the off offseason, uh, make himself is more physically less prone to injuries. And then I think it's just his mindset. You know, he's he wants to be on the field. And the thing about Tony is, you know, he can he can do everything. He can run in between the tackles, he can get he can be on the perimeter, he can catch passes, and he's doing a great job on special teams. Touching on Royce again, what are you seeing at practice this week that makes you feel like maybe he's a little healthier or ready than he's been in past weeks? Uh, he's running full speed. You know, running full speed. 
the amount of reps he's taken, you know, we're giving him his regular share of reps, and he's handling them well, and he's finishing runs, you know, like, like Royce normally does. And so just a combination of those things are giving us a lot of confidence. I think giving him, more importantly, giving him confidence that he's 100% ready to roll. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you guys.